King Constantine II of Greece, the former and last king of Greece, led a life filled with political upheavals, exile, and a complex relationship with his homeland. Born into the Greek royal family, in 1940, Constantine's ascension to the throne in 1964 was followed by a tumultuous period in Greek history. Despite his efforts to uphold democracy and rally against the military hunter, Constantine found himself in exile and spent the majority of his life outside of Greece. In this video, we will delve into the intriguing life of King Constantine II, exploring his time in exile, his family connections, and his lasting impact on Greek history. Early life and royal lineage, Constantine II was born on June 2, 1940, in Athens, Greece, to Prince Paul and Princess Federica of Hanover. His older sister, Princess Sophia, married King Juan Carlos I of Spain. The Greek royal family traced its lineage back to Prince Christian, later known as King Christian IX of Denmark, belonging to the House of schleswig holstein zonderberg glucksburg branch of the Danish ruling family. During World War II, the royal family was forced to flee Greece due to the German invasion. They sought refuge in Alexandria, Egypt, and later moved to South Africa before returning to Alexandria. After the war, King George II returned to Greece in 1946, and Constantine became the heir to the throne following his father's death. Ascension to the throne and political turmoil In 1964, at the age of 23, Constantine ascended to the throne as King Constantine II of Greece. He quickly became a popular figure among the Greek people and represented Greece internationally. However, his reign was marred by political turmoil and instability. In 1967, a military hunter seized power in Greece, plunging the country into a period of dictatorship and oppression. Constantine, determined to uphold democracy, attempted to mount a counter-coup against the hunter. Unfortunately, his efforts were unsuccessful, and he was ultimately forced into exile. Years in exile and controversies, following his exile, Constantine spent the majority of his life in London, England. He relied on support from wealthy Greek expatriates and European royal connections, including his second cousin, Prince Charles, who would later become King Charles III of the United Kingdom. Constantine's exile was marked by controversies and strained relations with the Greek authorities. In 1993, Constantine's visit to Greece for a holiday sparked political tension. The Greek authorities perceived his visit as a political statement, leading to a pursuit by gunboats and military planes. The following year, the socialist government confiscated the royal family's passports, property, and citizenship, citing a perceived political threat. Legal battles and return to Greece Throughout his exile, Constantine fought legal battles to regain his rights and assets. In 1994, the socialist government stripped him of his nationality and expropriated the remaining royal family's property. Constantine took his case to the European Court of Human Rights and was awarded a fraction of the compensation he sought. Despite the challenges, Constantine never relinquished his claim to the Greek throne. In 2004, he made a triumphant return to Greece when the country hosted the Olympic Games. This marked a significant moment for Constantine, showcasing his enduring connection to Greece and his role in securing the Games for his homeland. Family Connections and International Relations Constantine's family connections extended beyond Greece. His wife, Princess Anne-Marie of Denmark, is the younger sister of Denmark's Queen Margrethe II. The Danish royal family expressed their condolences upon Constantine's passing, highlighting the close ties between the two families. Moreover, Constantine's uncle was the Greek-born Prince Philip, the late Duke of Edinburgh and husband of the United Kingdom's late Queen Elizabeth II. Constantine even had the honor of being one of the godparents of Prince William, the heir to the British throne. Legacy and Recognition 
While Constantine's reign as king was cut short by political circumstances, his legacy and impact on Greek history cannot be overlooked. Despite his unsuccessful attempts to thwart the military hunter, Constantine's actions demonstrated his commitment to democracy and his willingness to stand up against oppression. Constantine's return to Greece in 2004 for the Olympic Games symbolized his enduring connection to his homeland. The Greek people recognized his role in securing the Games and his efforts to promote Greece on the international stage. Although Greece abolished the monarchy in a 1974 referendum, Constantine continued to hold the title of King of Greece and referred to his children as princes and princesses. His persistence in upholding his royal status, even without official recognition, demonstrated his deep-rooted connection to his heritage. Funeral and final resting place, upon Constantine's death, the Greek government announced that he would be buried as a private citizen in Tatoi, the former summer residence of Greece's royals. Tatoi holds the remains of his parents and ancestors, making it a fitting resting place for the last king of Greece. The details of the funeral service, including the date and location, will be determined in collaboration with Constantine's family. While the Greek people may not hold nostalgia for the former royal family, it is expected that European royals, who are closely related to Constantine, will attend the funeral to pay their respects. To sum up, King Constantine II of Greece led a life marked by political upheavals, exile, and a complex relationship with his homeland. Despite his efforts to uphold democracy and rally against the military hunter, he found himself in exile for the majority of his life. Constantine's legacy lies in his commitment to his heritage, his role in promoting Greece internationally, and his enduring connection to his homeland. As the last king of Greece, Constantine's passing marks the formal end of a chapter in Greek history, leaving behind a legacy that will be judged by future generations. Click here to watch Prima Donna of Oman, meet most exquisite first lady of Arab world. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe for more videos on interesting topics like this.